and this section of the class is going to talk about differentiation formulas, or at least the, the basic differentiation formulas. Now in the last section, we conceptually talked about what is a derivative and why do we care, okay? In this section, we're going to move a little bit deeper, just a hair, and we're going to explain and work through some problems where we actually use, use some of the, what I call the bread and butter of calculus. It's, if I give you a function, how do you take the derivative, which, as we just said, was the slope of the line tangent to the curve, the slope of the curve, basically, okay? The rate of change. So let's just dive right into it, and we're going to do this, you know, mainly through immersion, through examples. Um, the first thing, I just wanted to review some basic things that we talked about from the last section, and uh, that would be, namely, that the derivative of a function x is uh, denoted by this prime here, the derivative, um, which is the slope of the line tangent to a point on this curve, okay? Uh, you can write it that way, or you can write it, as we said in the last section, as simply df dx. Now this means I'm taking the derivative of the function f with respect to the function x. It just means I'm looking at how f changes at a point. I'm looking how it changes with respect to how x changes. It's kind of like that rise over run thing. You've got to compare it with with how x changes so you can sort of judge the slope of the thing. Okay, So that's sort of the basic thing. Now as we go through here, I'm going to write a few kind of properties on board, uh, properties of the derivative over here, and I'm going to try to leave them up for the most part, and we're going to work some problems over on the other side over here. Okay, so the first one is the derivative with respect to x, you can write it as ddx here, is like, almost like a fraction, of a constant, that's what c means, is zero. That's kind of like a property, okay? What does that mean? Well, it means, remember the definition of a derivative. Derivative is the slope. How fast does something change? What's the slope of it? Okay, is it like this? Well, a constant, by definition, a constant is a constant with respect to x. If it's a constant with respect to x, it has no slope. Therefore, the derivative must be zero. So that's something you're going to remember as you work problems. The derivative of a constant is zero. It's just one of those things like in, um, you know, for... Uh, you know, when you're five years old, you learn two plus two is four. Well, that's, that's the way it is. Well, the derivative of a constant is zero. It's a basic thing you're just going to have to remember. And you will remember because I promise you'll be doing it all the time. So an example of that would be, let's say f of x is equal to five. This is a function, a very simple function. Well, then the derivative of f of x, which is the same thing as saying df, with respect to dx, the derivative of f with respect to x is just a big fat zero because the derivative of a constant is zero. So that's an example related to that property. Now what if we had the derivative, again, with respect to the independent variable x of something a hair more complicated? What if we had a constant times a function of x? What would that equal to? You're not supposed to know the answer to these, by the way. I'm just asking rhetorically. These are things that are given to you as a theorem in your calculus book. This will be equal to the same constant c times df dx. Okay? So what it means is if you're taking the derivative of some quantity that's like a number times a function of x, well, then you just pull the number out, and then you take the derivative of the function, and that's what, that's what it is. Um, you know, this can look kind of messy, but let's do an example to, to kind of um, illustrate what that means. Um, if I had f of x 